All right, today we're gonna to be comparing the rugged REI Flexlight camper chair to the Adventure Click Lifestyle chair. So first we'll go to this chair. The nice thing about this one is it's literally one button press and the whole thing folds into itself. So it has a uh, locking arms and legs that just go like that. All right, so once your legs are all folded in, you just close it up like this. You grab your strap, wrap it around, tighten it up, and then there's a Velcro on the other side. And that's your chair. No bag needed. The chair itself is the self-contained unit. And it has this little clip right here. So you could put it on your carabiner, put it on a backpack or something. All right, so when you want to set up your click chair, say we're by the campfire. Oh, oh, we're gonna sit down by the campfire? No problem. You're sitting that quick all right so the click chair comes in at around three pounds so it's gonna be kind of heavy I don't think it's the kind of chair you'd want to take backpacking unless you're really dedicated to the lifestyle but what I think it is great for is car camping like we're doing uh, just because you just throw it in the back it folds up all by itself self-contained little thing and then you just whip it out on a moment's notice so let's get to the REI chair this thing is a lot lighter. It's in the neighborhood of two pounds. I'll put the official weight. Um, but it is more involved to set up and take down. So you see it has this little bag and to take it down you gotta take the chair like the actual fabric part off and then this will kind of remind you of setting up one of those tents you know with the poles because that's how it's set up. The long arms have two poles and then they all come in like this and you wrap the fabric of the chair around them and they fold down into that bag. But when you want to put it up, it's kind of like not as glorious as the click chair. You can see what I mean here. I'll set it up right now. It goes there, it goes there, it goes there, it goes there, it goes there. It's see, this one being stubborn. Uh, there we go. Uh, now we gotta get the fabric part. on the posts right here. Then you're set up. Not as glorious as the click chair. Oh. All right, be careful when you set up your REI chair because that's the second time this camping trip someone's sat in it and fallen backwards. I guess you gotta set it up on more level ground. That's something that the click chair hasn't uh, had a problem with. So comparing these two chairs, the the click chair definitely has more room for your body to really sit in it. The REI chair, you can tell it's kind of small and they were like trying to compress it and just make it small for you to carry around. Um, the click chair is more comfortable and it's more stable. Another thing that contributes to that is you can see the feet on the click chair. Real beefy. And they have this design where they're pushing against the dirt right there so that uh, they're just building stability. Whereas. The REI chair has little pokey feet. So if you're camping on the beach or something, these are gonna sink into the sand, whereas you're gonna have a better time just not like having legs dipping into stuff if you're using the click chair. Jeez, this thing, this thing like we're saying, this thing keeps falling over. Um, another thing is the pockets on the chair. So the REI chair has Let's see, yeah, it has this one little baby pocket right here, it's probably good for a wallet or a phone, not much else. The click chair, so the click chair actually has a mesh pocket running all the way through both sides. So check it out right here. Basically put anything you need in there. Oh, I need to put my phone away, no problem. Oh, I need to put my wallet and keys away, no problem. Good luck fitting this stuff in the REI chair, dude, come on. All right, so in conclusion, I know I gave this chair a hard time, but what it's really good for is like backpacking or camping where you need to travel light um, and you want to have a chair wherever you're going. So I'm not knocking this chair. It's just, it's intended for a different purpose. I wouldn't really buy this if you're gonna go car camping. If you are a car camper or just a lifestyle type of person, I would definitely go for the click chair, the similar price range. And this one is just a lot beefier. It's only a pound heavier. Um, and it's just an awesome chair. It's easy to set up like I showed you. 
Yeah, I think it's just better for situations where you don't need to worry about the weight that you're carrying. Uh, there's links to both in the description. Subscribe to Extra Meal Endeavors if you're new here, and I'll see you in a later video.